What? And it didn't stall. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that's actually really good. Wait, are you leaving me here? Yeah, you got it. Wait, no! So, today I'm learning how to drive stick in the, e, yeah. in the E30... Six. E36. Why do I keep forgetting that? I want to say E35 every time. Nah, there's E30s and shit like that. This is all different cars, but E36, in my opinion, this is one of the best, like, drift cars because it's so small that it just, like, glides everywhere. Mm. I'm the driver. Uh, when we get to the destination. It'll be, it's gonna be a great experience. Yeah, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it, I'm gonna love it. I hope I make my dad proud. <laughs> now this is a, uh, is the battery still working situation? <clears throat> oh, there we go, the battery works. You know what this reminds me of? My dad's like 318 Ti. I couldn't drive that one either, because it was manual. I have to say, um, I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I hope you can figure it out before the car blows up. What do you mean? The car blew up before. No, really? Yeah, so like if you stall it too many times, it could blow up. Try not to blow it up, please. I will not blow it up. Yeah, but if you do, that's life. Literally, that's why you can't drive the black wing. Okay. If you blew that up, that's not life. That's... I would have to get back for that. Yeah. This is the, like, what did you say? It's more forgiving. Yeah, this car is very forgiving. Like. You could even drive at like one, two miles per hour and it's not gonna fucking jerk Jerking you like on. that. Okay. And like, really like any other manual car usually would start like throwing you around and shit once you get mm. that low. I, I don't mind being thrown around though, so. Yo, oh. Okay, I will see you guys at the destination. Okay, so my dad used to have this in the car too and it's just like a change thing. I don't know, like. Do you need a dime? Yeah. I got you, yeah. here's your dime. Thank you. Of course. Um, Give but me you got a dime though. right here though. Oh. This is it. I'm learning how to drive stick. Man, I wish this car was a little bit cleaner. Unfortunately, it's parked under some trees, so after two days, it's cooked. Hello. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Literally amazing. Great fit. Get in the car. Okay. Yeah. Learning how to drive stick. All right, so look, okay? okay. Um, it's actually pretty simple. You yeah. just have to get your body used to doing it, all right? Okay, yeah. So you see the gas over there, yeah, this and then the you brake. see the brake, and then to the left of that is the clutch. clutch. Okay. Anytime you switch gears, the clutch has to be pressed all the way down. Okay, like that all the way. All the way down. Okay. Press it all the way. Yeah. Boom. And then you switch gears. The okay. gear is neutral. Do I have to press neutral. the brake right now or no? Yeah, I always kind of have the brake held, but the emergency brake's on too, so if it slides, you'll be all right. Uh, worst case scenario, something happens, literally just Brake. Splam the brakes. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna be just fine. Okay. There you go. And then. Then you wanna let go of the clutch while you give it a little bit of gas. And then go where? You can turn the wheel wherever you want. Okay. Whichever direction. Oh, she did it! Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> nah. This is definitely. Yeah. So stay on first. You can try switching into second. What? And it didn't stall. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually really good. Okay. You can just hold down the clutch and move to second gear. Okay. But depending on what your RPM is, it might it might be a little, what's the word? Like it might throw you forward a little bit. Like it did. Yeah. yeah. So what do you think so far? You're doing great. You're doing phenomenal. Like okay. you did the hardest part. The hardest part you completed. Then you just have to start getting into the rhythm of like, doing it often so you don't even have to think about it no more. Okay. And then, then it becomes more fun. Once you don't have to think about shifts and shit like that, you start to enjoy the shit a little bit more. I'm doing my thing. Yes. Da -da. Okay. Clutch and gap. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're good. That transmission's amazing, oh my God. It's really good in traffic, I'm not gonna lie. All right, try second. Yo, she's in second. Why the fuck did she learn so fast? Yo. Yo okay, I'm, you might be the fastest learner I think in fucking racing history, I think. I think I might be a natural. I Dead don't ass. Know. Like, real shit. You just, you'll you get. Would you drive the black wing? No. Why not? Because you'll stall that a million times. Okay. Yeah. Wait, this is great though. Okay, so I got first, second, and neutral. But yeah, that's, you nailed it. Jalan, you fucking did great. Did it. You did amazing. Okay, it is it is probably a very uncomfortable vehicle. Yes. Okay. The bucket seats require some effort. Look at you. Look at you. You're becoming a car girl. I'm <laughs> Shane, thank you for teaching no me. No funny shit. That takes me that took me so much longer. So you're saying I might have a bigger brain than you? 
No, I'm saying that like you might be better at driving. <laughs> mm. You might be so, more of a natural when it comes to driving. I might be better at driving? Not that what yet, I, obviously. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you would have to drive a lot more and mm. stuff like that. And then you would have to like beat me in a race and stuff like that. But you know how that goes, man. Wait, are you leaving me here? Yeah, you got Wait, no! <laughs> That's what I love about this car. It's just like such a light, fun car. This was fun. Yeah, Damn, I picked up really fast. Like really fun. I'm not gonna yeah. lie. I was floored you learned how to do it that fast. That was really good. Damn, I did that. So, the infamous JJ Fish. It's not really infamous, but. It's well known. Yes. Um, I'm trying it for the first time. I'm really excited. Apparently, this is a, a must eat in Atlanta. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Marcel himself will come and tell me what to order, and then we'll go from there. All right. What am I getting? You want full fish or like just like the little fish nuggets? Uh, what, what, what tastes better? I think this is, I don't know. Like, we'll, do the, we'll do the fish nuggets. Fish nuggets, okay. What you're going to get is a number six. Number six, all right. You see, I told you like how to the crack. That's a crack right there. Oh yeah, how it's on a train. Okay, here's the menu. Chicken, fish. As you can tell, this has on a swivel. It's a squat. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you. Great. Shrimp. Mmm. So th these are just like the catfish nuggets. Yeah, they're just nuggets. I was trying one of these. Oh, it's hot. Ah. Hi, it's safe. Mm-hmm. There's no point. Mm -hmm. It tastes even better with a hot sauce on it. I'll do a little drizzle, then this try is again. amazing. The crack hits, bro. That crack dude here ain't gonna hold this yeah. shit. That motherfucker crack. That's now I, I know why it. they put it on the, the chain. On the chain, because niggas still that shit. Yeah. I should have I should have low-key sprinkled way more. Like you were asking more and more and more. You gotta put a lot of Yeah, you should put a lot of crack on that motherfucker, bro. Mmm. Let me try the fried okra. Mmm. Let me try this fry with a little crack on it. The fact that they call it crack is a little concerning. I don't know if you can see the small white particles here. Mmm. That's a crack. And no one knows what it is. In case you were wondering, he didn't let me drive the Blackwing, but that's okay. One day. I think that Atlanta has been a really interesting experience in terms of me kind of like ducking my head here for a week. But I think my social battery just kind of died. As for like the AMP RDC party, kind of the same thing. I ended up finishing my stream really late and then the time it would have taken me to get across town, get ready, and then leave at the same time as everybody. It just wasn't worth it. And I just didn't feel like it. I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm becoming more of a homebody and more and more of somebody that just likes to um, be in like small groups of people that I'm really comfortable with. Things I've learned about myself. I am very social, extroverted, social butterfly, but it's just, maybe not this much. <laughs> Okay, today I'm leaving and going back to LA for good this time. I have a lot of things planned for the channel now, like I wanna do more vlogs, but just like me exploring different things in LA, maybe more like makeup routine, hairly hair routine, just whatever it is, I don't know. I'm just gonna post it on YouTube. And I feel like I've been hitting a lot of milestones in the past month or so, and it hasn't really hit me yet, but maybe it will when I get home, I don't know. I just feel like I've been in such a like half here, mental state after the five dates five states and i feel like that's kind of expected after you have such like a huge fun trip like that i mean we were literally skydiving like i've never experienced adrenaline like that before and i'm, I'm not there's nothing to be sad about there's nothing to be sad about i think it's just like i'm appreciating a period of time that's now ending i'm really excited for whatever's next i know i have a couple of things cooking in here so look forward to those but I guess this is bye to Atlanta for now, I guess. Okay.